Today is a very special day for me. I'm going to be lip swatching a few of Shannon Harris's beauty products. She came out with some lippy products, and if you don't know who Shannon Harris is, she is ShannonXO on YouTube, and she is the YouTuber who got me into YouTube and makeup and enjoying the craft of it. She is such a creative person. She's been on YouTube for a very long time, and she still comes up with the most creative tutorials. She is such a creative person, and she just seems like a really nice person as well. I am a huge fan of hers. When she came out with her BH Cosmetics palette, and this is very dirty, but her shadows and her lipsticks on this side, I thought that I would purchase a few. Uh, the New Zealand rates to American rates is about $16 per item. This isn't necessarily for my U.S. friends unless you would like to pay the shipping, but I just did it to support Shannon, not because I thought it was extremely expensive on the shipping and everything, but I thought I would swatch this, and I did notice that her lipstick shades kind of coincide with the shades in her palette so I'm going to swatch them side by side um, with the shades that I think are similar and we'll see if they're actually kind of in the same thing. So I'm going to start off with this shade. This is an actual two lipstick. She has two lipsticks. She has creamy lipsticks and matte lipsticks and then this is like a liquid lipstick and so I got one matte lip shade. And I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the swatching a lot better. So the first lipstick that I got is a matte lipstick, and it is Fivocally. At least, I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. And I'm just going to test this out. So I really like this lipstick. For me personally, my bottom lip is constantly dry. I think that has something to do with the lip products that I wear. I try to wear a lip balm, but sometimes I just don't remember to put it on. But this is a really pretty pinky nude. Personally, I think it's close to the shade, so I'm just going to swatch it. So there's that. Bad swatching on my part. So they are slightly different colors. And obviously the formula is much different. The one in the lipstick palette is more of a cream and then the one that I'm wearing on my lips is a matte. Next I got Ineffable and this is a really really pretty Barbie pink. So this is what the tube looks like. It has a flat doe foot wand which I really like. And it smells like vanilla. So this color is kind of easy to transfer onto your teeth. So usually what I do is I grab a tissue and I blot my lips off so that the color doesn't get on my teeth. So like I said, this is a Barbie pink color, really pretty. This particular color does make my teeth look a little yellow, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. It is long wearing and it has a glossy look to it but it's not sticky like a gloss, so it's very pigmented. I really like that about this product. It's different than all the other products that I've been trying, like liquid, lips, liquid lipsticks and things like that. So this is most similar to this color right here, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to swatch that, and then I'm going to take Ineffable, put that right next to it. So once again, these shades are pretty different. So this is Inevitable, and this is the color in the Xanaxo palette. They are different shades. This is much darker. They do have that same creamy feel, but yet great pigmentation. And last but not least, we have Impoverted. Now this color looks more like a brick red in the tube, but it is more of a pink red once you put it on your lips. So I'm going to show you. So 
So I don't know if you can see the difference. It's a little bit different. Barely a difference. But this is in Pavid. And I would say it's most similar wool swatch. There are two reds down at the bottom. I think it's more like this one, but we'll see close by. So once again, the swatch differences. This is in Pavid, and then these are the two red colors. So it is very unique. I think it's really pretty, very pigmented, absolutely gorgeous. Alright guys, that is my final swatch party. I really love these colors and I'm going to be continuing to wear them through the summer. And I think this red shade will even be perfect for fall. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to make your world a better place. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Philokly? Oh no. Philok. Of course the sirens are going off. So our city tests the tornado sirens once a month.